another victory for Donald Trump in the race to the White House. He held off Nikki Haley to win the New Hampshire Republican presidential primary. And just a little note to Nikki, she's not going to win. She's not going to win. It's Trump's second straight victory in his bid to secure the Republican nomination, but a large turnout of independent voters helped boost Haley's performance, and she is not dropping out of the race. This race is far from over. There are dozens of states left to go. Trump and Haley will square off next in Haley's home state of South Carolina on February 24th. Joining me once again is Thomas Rath. He's a Republican strategist. Thomas, good morning once again. So glad that you could be with us. We spoke with you yesterday. We sort of knew where this was going to go. Another win for Trump fueling his GOP nomination. Um, I want to play some sound from Nikki Haley and then come back to you with a a question on the other side. Here it is. I was proud to serve America in his cabinet. I agree with many of his policies. I decided to run because I'm worried about the future of our country and because it's time to put the negativity and chaos behind us. So, Thomas, she's vowing to stay on. I think Trump, given um, what he was saying last night, was expecting or hoping that she would bow out. What does the road ahead look like for Haley now? Well, I think it's difficult. Uh, I, I wouldn't in any way minimize uh, the, 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 the stuff that's in front of her that she's got to get through. What keeps her in the race immediately is South Carolina. That's her home state. She's been elected governor twice down there. Uh, I think she feels that's the safest place to go and the best place she could be. And if she can't beat him in South Carolina, then it will be over. Um, there's also this hope when you're running against Trump, and it's been rather futile hope so far, and sooner or later, he's going to get caught up with in terms of either his legal problems or something else, and that can flip the whole race on its uh, head. I don't think that's likely to happen. I think she's going to have a tough time stopping him. There is a sizable part of the Republican Party that would still like a different option. <laughs> but how it works politically, I don't know. The happiest person with that win last night should have been Joe Biden, because he may have trouble beating a lot of people, but he's beaten Trump once. And all the numbers continue to indicate that he'd be in a stronger position against Trump than anybody else. So it's, uh, you're biting off your tail to spite yourself a little bit here. Uh, I want to play a, a bit of sound from Trump last night. I call this pure Trump. Uh, we've had to bleep out a, a few words, a few <laughs> choice words, but here it is. I find in life you can't let people get away with okay? You can't. You just can't do that. And when I watched her in the fancy dress that probably wasn't so fancy come up, I said, what's she doing? We won. And, and, and Thomas, I see you sort of taking it in. Um, I think it's that part of Trump that still has a lot of undecided people thinking, feeling that he cannot beat Biden, that he is not the best choice for president. If it's just down to Trump, and Biden and the general election basically kicks off sooner rather than later. Is this the sort of thing that Biden hopes to capitalize on? Oh, absolutely. I think Biden's got his own polling problems, but they're not as great against Donald Trump as anybody else, because uh, whatever the problems are under Joe Biden, Donald Trump's personality and his history push all those to the side. And I think that, again, I said before, the one person Biden really believes they can beat is Trump. And the early polling numbers in you know, state by state basis, which truly really our election is, it's not one election, it's 50 state elections, indicate that Biden will run much stronger against Trump than, than anybody else. Uh, just a last process question for you. If Nikki Haley uh, bows out, is it only Trump's name on the ballot moving forward then for all of the other uh, primaries and caucuses to come? How does that work? Yeah. It, it depends on the filing re- requirements in each state. And there usually there's a date by which you must file and put your name on a ballot. For instance, there are some places where you may have already had a file and names will be on the ballot of people who are no longer in the race. It, it doesn't constantly get reviewed. So some of the states that are further down the road, uh, they probably can wait a little bit longer. But a lot of states, they, or the, the candidates have already filed for it and got ballot position. 
Thomas Rath is a Republican strategist. Thomas, once again, thank you for your time with us. Thank you.